Have you ever wondered what your users or customers are thinking about your product, your brand or your company? Sure, you can go ahead and read thousands of user reviews on whatever platform you are present, but that doesn't give you anything tangible. What if you wanted something more solid where you can measure your user reviews and put them in different boxes with different categories, for example? And that's called sentiment analysis. Sentiment analysis is the process of using natural language processing and machine learning techniques to determine the sentiment of a piece of text, whether it's positive, negative, or neutral. And there are multiple use cases for sentiment analysis. You can track brand performance, you can monitor your customer service quality or customer satisfaction, or you can even run sentiment analysis for market research and many other cases. But now let me show you how it's done fully automated. Just for the sake of this video, I created my imaginary hotel brand and my imaginary customers who have just left a review for my imaginary hotel. And in the video, let me show, show you the end result. In the video, you will see a Google Sheets filled with user reviews and I'm going to start an automation on make.com with text cortex AI integration. And the uh, AI is going to determine the sentiment of the text and uh, label them as positive, neutral, or negative. And based on this data, based on this overview, I can then move on to visualizing this data and have a more tangible um, overview of those user reviews. Setting up an automation like this is pretty easy, but it will of course uh, require to collect all these data points in one place. Uh, data points like user reviews, user feedback, and you need to put them in one place. That could be a database table, for example, where you can get some exports or uh, CSV exports, Google Sheets, or it could be a Notion page or like an Airtable database. The only thing you need to do then is just to click on this plus icon. And in our case, I'm going to be using Google Sheets. And then you want to set up a trigger for this automation to get started. And I want this automation to initiate for every new rows added to our um, Google Sheets. So once you set up this, the only thing you need to do is just to link your account and specify the spreadsheet you're going to be using for this uh, automation. And in this case, I'm going to use sentiment analysis. I just created for the sake of this video. And if it has multiple pages, for example, you can also specify this uh, sheet. Uh, since my sheet only has one page, I'm going to be using sheet one. And then the limit, you want to set a limit. So limit is uh, for this triggers, um, for this trigger, the limit is the maximum number of results. And the results in this case is rows. So maximum number of uh, two rows, let's say, is going to be worked with during one uh, execution cycle. So that's not something I want. The two rows, uh, that's too low. So I'm going to use like 50, for example, you can set it uh, to 50 and then you can just click OK. Then you need to add Text Cortex AI integration for, for, for AI to, to run a sentiment analysis. So um, I'm going to use create completion module here. And then uh, within that module, you will only have one space for you to fill in and that's your prompt. So uh, you can specify your prompt like run a sentiment analysis on the following sentence and um, group them as positive, negative or neutral. And then you need to specify the review, of course, in the respective row and column. And uh, we want to make this field dynamic. So you can say review. Uh, and boom. So this green field, it indicates that it's a dynamic field. So this uh, field changes based on the uh, row um, and the cell value it contains. So you click OK. Then we want to have one more uh, action 
in the in, in the sequence which is going to update the relevant row and column or the relevant cell with the um, with the value text cortex has generated for you and in this case it's going to be the sentiment of the text which is going to be like positive neutral or negative so let's do this and you're going to follow a very similar path um, yeah update error we want to update a row and you have the same connection you need to specify the same spreadsheet again with the same ID and let's do it yep the same page and now you need to specify again uh, put the dynamic field here um, the ROM number and for example if you hover it you will see the step one uh, is, is moving and uh, we want this field to be dynamic so this row number, uh, whichever row is triggered, um, is going to be updated within that sequence. And that applies to every single row uh, that are being added to the sheet. So uh, once you set the row number, then you want to uh, match the column as well. So you will see uh, we have two columns, A and B. A will contain the user review and B is going to contain uh, the generated text, which is going to be positive, neutral, or negative, the sentiment. And we want to update column B with the respective row. If the review is, uh, is on row number two, it's going to update row number two for column B. So you want to specify this so you can just leave empty the other columns and you will only see, say, send update sentiment analysis, which is column B. And you want to set uh, text uh, for this field. Uh, text is, is the generated text, uh, AKA, and you will see the sentiment in this uh, third field. Then that's pretty much complete. You can just hit OK and let's run a test for this uh, trigger, trigger, I'm sorry. And yeah, it's complete. Now you want to add the reviews and let's see if it's going to work out. Let's run it once. And as you can see, and that's pretty much the end result of a sentiment analysis, a very basic sentiment analysis that I've just run with a very basic prompt. You can achieve much deeper sentiment analysis than, than what I achieved here. And you can even run multiple sentiment analysis for one feedback because a one user review doesn't have to be either positive, either negative or neutral. It can contain multiple emotions or multiple stances towards different things. For example, a co customer might not like the Wi-Fi services of your hotel, but might complement to your bathroom, for example. And that will um, include two sentiments within one user review. And you can even do it more granular and run different sentiment analysis to have a better overview of your user reviews. And that was it from me for this video. I hope to see you soon in another automation video. Let me know in the comments whether you wanna see more of these type of videos and drop some likes because that's the best way to let me know that you wanna see more of this. See you soon.